You think CDL this season is going to be three subs and one AR? Uh, I mean, th I think there's a possibility. It really depends on how, how these new maps look. I think it'll always be a situation where that flex player, quote unquote, has to be pulling out an AR or sub whenever they need to. But based on the like the speed of it right now and the maps that we have right now, like let's say we played Skyline, I feel like that would be a three sub map. If I had to guess, but who knows? We we never we haven't played at 44 yet or anything, you know. But I think the always the meta will be no matter what, you're always just pulling out this, the the weapon that you need in that moment. And that could be that second AR that or sorry, yeah, that can be that second AR or third sub regardless, whatever it is. So I think, I mean, technically, I think flexes could be really important in this year, if that's the case. Similar to how in, in the past, like, two years, it's, it was really important for some subs to pull out ARs. I think it's going to be the opposite and go back to kind of what you normally would view as a flex. Because what it was last year in those bigger maps, remember Invasion, remember Subbase, it, it was on the subs to pull out ARs. And it's a lot easier for a sub to pull out an AR than an AR to pull out a sub. But I think going into Black Ops, um, Black Ops 6, I think if they, these maps stay the way that it is, I think it'll be s switching back to more of that traditional like flex player where it's that second AR moving to a third sub whenever they need to. That's just my, my take right now with a prediction that I think will, will happen. Good thing we got Ken as a flex. That man can do it all. 100%. Again, it, it is very hard. It is a lot harder for an AR to run a sub than it is for a sub to run AR, in my opinion. I think an AR is, is much easier to use if you're really good with a sub. I think being a good AR doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be like decent with a sub. I think it translates better if you're a good sub that you can pull on an AR. I think it's. I think you can still work with it. Need quick AR, quick ARs as well. Yeah, or it could be a, a scenario where we have that three gun meta, and that would be cool. Like that that you know quote unquote flex player runs that that more quick AR that's a you know faster fire rate or whatever similar like the, the Maddox type thing or, or K bar that we have in previous games so or, so maybe that's the case but if, if we're going based on what the meta has been the past few years with the like how GAs have gone it's just been you know an AR and a, and a sub I think it's more likely that we'll have that second AR be a third sub than it is for what it's been the past like two years where the subs are the ones pulling out the AR pretty much except for like Rio last year but I would love a three-gun meta. I think everyone would love a three-gun meta. We should try our hardest to get a three-gun meta. I feel like that's when COD is at its like core best as competitive gunplay-wise, you know? I think IW had a great gun meta. I think, again, BO, BO4 had a great gun meta. BO3 had a great gun meta because it was so many viable weapons. Even with the Banner Protect, 